Hi everybody. So, I'm gonna do a little something different today. I'm gonna do a little bit of lecture, talk about some stuff. So, let's start with the basics. What is flow? And flow is different for everybody. In literal terms, it means that, you know, how it looks as you're using your prop or whatever you're doing. Maybe you're dancing, maybe you're doing something else. But that seamless movement from one thing to the next. That's your flow. Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes it's not. As you practice your flow, each day you'll learn that there's something new, something you could be working on, maybe something that you forgot and picked back up. But a flow is a very personal journey for everybody. Some people do it to become performers so that they can try to make money and, you know, really realize their dream. Some people just flow because it feels good. And I think everybody should flow, no matter what. Because there's always some kind of prop, or some kind of movement, or something you could be doing that gets you active, gets your heart going, and makes you feel good. And that's good for everybody. To me, flow is a daily thing that I try to do just so that I can make a video for everybody to see. Show how my skills are coming, show how I'm getting better each and every day. Sometimes that's hard. Sometimes it's hard to find that flow. Sometimes it's hard to get motivated to get out, grab my prop, and do something. Because, well, every day isn't the same. And some days I don't feel like doing everything. Some days I do. <laughs> I have days where I have to do six or seven takes just to get a video for the day. And then there's some days where I'm one and done, baby. One thing, one time, one song, boom. I laid it down like it was nothing. Like I was in a studio and just spitting some fire. But that doesn't always happen. And that's okay. Some days you'll have easy days. And some days it's going to be like, why am I even doing this? Am I wasting my time? But you're not. You're not wasting your time. Because you're doing something fun. And you're enjoying yourself. And you're really learning what it is to flow. Now, with flow, you have a lot of different props. You have stuff like the rope dart, which is my favorite. Or nunchucks. Or poi. These are called soft props or dynamic they work off something that's flexible that moves with you and goes off the male female energy concept whereas you are the male dominant energy and the prop is a female that responds to you it's not gender roles that we're talking about it's simply the dynamic of the props there's also things like staff double staffs and other static props that don't particularly just bend and flex, but they do move around you. And that switches the dynamic of male and female, whereas you are the female dynamic and they are the male dynamic, i.e. you have to react to the prop's motion because it's static. It doesn't bend or anything, so in order to make it move like you want to, you got to move with it and around it, which you have to move with all props, but it's a little bit different with the harder more static props but everybody has their flow and every flow is different and that's another fun topic your flow isn't going to be the same as your neighbor's flow or somebody else's flow you may be able to do some of the same techniques you may be able to do a lot of the same stuff but no matter what you will always be different and that's good we want to be different we don't want to have the same thing because it's no fun watching Everybody do the same thing, unless, of course, it's a copycat challenge. Now, you have to remember that there's nothing wrong with doing something your own way. And while with a lot of techniques, there is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it, doesn't mean that you can't make a variation or make something of your own. Because, I mean, what's the fun if you can't have your own fun and do your own thing? Take, for instance, the sunrise. When I first started, I started doing something like this, which isn't actually a sunrise. It's uh, known as a moonrise, actually. But the actual technique for a sunrise happens behind the back, in the dark, like that. That brings us to a new topic, planes. Now that is a common thing that goes throughout flow, no matter what your prop, what you're doing. You have your wall plane right in front of you, and your dark wall plane, which is behind you. Picture the planes as a flat surface. With rope dark, 
On our sides, we have our wheel planes as the dart travels like this. So you've got wall, dark wall, wheel, dark wheel on my anchor or non-dominant side. Exploring these planes can really make a difference in how your flow looks because you don't want to be stuck to one side and really just trapped with the dominant hand, especially if you're using a uh, prop like poi or double staffs that require both hands to work. So there's a difference between what I call asymmetrical props and symmetrical props. Asymmetrical props are like the rope dart or single nunchucks. It's when you have just one prop and you move it alongside your body, passing it between hands and sides. Whereas symmetric props, like poi, require you to use both hands at the same time and maintain, you know, more of a different flow than just an asymmetric one. For me, that's challenging. I've never been good at symmetrical props. I'm really good at asymmetrical props and using a single prop in a symmetric way. That's just me. But you may be different. You may find that poi or single, uh, or poi or doubles, like stabs or nunchucks, is really what's for you. And again, like I said, that is all going to be completely for you. A key thing with all this is to really feel out different props and to dry stuff new. Because you may think, oh, I like this. But you get your hands on the prop and suddenly everything changes and it all makes sense. Like when I first picked up the rope dart, I swung it around for a few seconds and immediately knew this is what I want to do. This is my prop. I found it and I'm lucky for that. A lot of people don't have that. A lot of people have to go through a journey and try out different props with different moves and practice to see what really fits for them and what they can use on a daily basis. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it's quick. Sometimes people abandon this quest because, let's face it, props can be expensive. But it's well worth it if you ask me because it's something that, at least for me, has really made me happy and has really helped my life to keep in focus. Even when I have bad things going on, life has been hard at least I know I can always grab my prop go outside have a little fun burn off some energy and some aggression and you can do the same thing with any prop or any fire art maybe you don't like props as much as you like sticking fire in your face being a fire breather and letting out these massive plumes of awesome power it feels great and as long as it feels good to you that's really what matters so just remember, your flow can always be different and can always change. And flow is ever evolving. One day, you may be focused on things like stalls. Where you're stalling the prop midair. In other days, you may be more into spin. Where you're having the prop rotate around your body. It really is going to change. And it's good to evolve. It's good to explore different concepts. And it's really good to really explore every aspect of your prop and your body because flow helps you really feel and understand your body and how it moves and where you stand in relation to everything else because if you don't have a good understanding of that you're going to hit yourself with your prop which does happen if you're starting out with flow remember you're going to drop you're going to hit yourself you're going to mess up and with rope dart you're going to get tangled that's okay we all did everybody did you gotta start somewhere, and it's okay. You're not gonna be perfect to start with, and it'd be weirder if you were. It's good. It means you have a basis to build off of and really grow and become an artist that you want to be in the style that makes you. It's very important to not get discouraged. Because like I said, there'll be good days and bad days. You'll have days where you have what I call the dropsies. Dropsies means you can't keep your hands on your prop. How do you deal with it? Well, you just keep drilling. You just keep doing stuff. I find if I just focus on a move and will drill it over and over, something like elbow shots, it can really help me at least flow for the day and get past my drop seats and my other shortcomings of that day. You may find that it helps you to just put on a random song and dance and feel good about it. It doesn't have to be perfect and don't worry about it if it's not. 
because this is flow and flow is its own wonderful wonderful thing now i want everybody to get out there and enjoy themselves explore your body explore the flow and explore your own motion if you like this video please subscribe hit the bell button give me a like and a comment i'll really appreciate it because i'm the one who does all this i'm just a person but it feels really nice to get some of that affirmation i hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope you all enjoy my continued flow journey and we can be in this together. Love you guys. This is Duncan, the Monk of the Magnolias. Bye.